This program is rated PG. Parental guidance is advised. So guys, growing up, there was a time when we as children knew more about gadgets and tech than our parents. Yeah. I'm hoping that we're not those parents. Who don't know? Who don't know as much as your children do. But you see, there are certain things that are inevitable. Because mm. slang changes yeah. and so Nebu, much changes. Nebu. Guy, uh -huh. and you cannot catch up. How do we be perceptive parents? Because a lot of the times there's things that we worry about like... Um, uh, masked content. Mm -hmm. So when you're dealing with children and tech, there are things that the kid will understand that you will not understand. Mm, like or take it at, culture bending content. Yes. Wow. And yes. Culture bending but yeah. content where yeah. okay, okay, it okay. looks like it's giving one message, but there's a lot of another. subliminal messages in there that aren't what you would say you align with. Mm. Yeah. Dealing with that kind of content and with our children. What's the future? Well, what's the way forward? How do you deal There's with that? There's definitely a lot of propaganda. Let, let, me, let me give you something that you guys need to think about. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite cartoon growing up? Just mention a couple of them. Cartoon Network, Dexter's mm. Lab, Dexter. Johnny Bravo, Johnny Bravo. Um, Cow and Chicken. Cow and Chicken. I didn't watch cartoons. Cow and Chicken. Pop Up Girl, Cow Courage, the Cowardly Dog. Enjoyment, happiness, Imagine infidelity. Oh yeah. my God. Johnny Bravo. <laughs> You're ruining my childhood. Dexter. Oh my God! Johnny, Johnny Bravo, Bravo was was shady. Was shady. He was a shady was man. Pop Pop of girls. Pop of girls. Has, has, what was he was about it? Uh -huh. So you see, <laughs> Lady all, Lady all, Bella, Miss Bella. Oh you my God! And her legs. A certain way, in the long run. <clears> but the throat> truth is, when you when you look at audiences and how you generate audiences, mm -hmm. the science of it is. There are so many whispers that were given to us back in the day through what we were watching. You've yeah. ruined my childhood. Yeah, as we were growing up, but along the way, the friends you made. The advice you got from parents and things like that mm -hmm. corrected that. Ah, okay. Now, you see, right now it's phones, tablets, gaming. Physically, see the game there. Right now, they're going to immersive gaming, for example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whereby you've seen the vision, the vision uh, where Pro, yeah. mm -hmm. you're going to put it on your head. You have you're no involved. idea what you're consuming at that point. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the person designing the product is Oof. insisting mm -hmm. you must constantly consume it. Now, another scary thing that has happened. Mm -hmm is the YouTube channels that you guys are watching for kids, for learning, are AI-generated YouTube channels. Yeah. So they were fixing a quote there and say, for example, the Prince of Egypt was white. Mm. They will say like 60 times in, in the history of how the pyramids were made and things like that. Yeah. So in short... And it's a line you'll miss, a lot going but it's on. in there. Is yes. it, is it, isn't it the only person we trust on YouTube is Miss Rachel? <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly, I've seen Just those checking. things where people question no, things like, real. oh my God, what is Mr. Beast teaching me? What is da 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 da? Yeah. And your children are obsessed with these people. But what you're trying to say is it's okay because what, the world will course correct? No, what you end up doing as a parent is going to what's going to, what's, what's going to correct that thing. Because mm. as exposed, exposed to, there's a movie I watched called The Rocky Horror Picture Show. Mm -hmm. What? My parents, why? Mm -hmm. eh? <laughs> when you guys just go and Google it after here. Now, I watched that was one of my favorite movies, oh, but wow. I didn't turn out like that. Mm. Okay. But there are so many but things. I think, I think what, what's, what's going to happen in, every, in the long run <clears throat> is parents are using this as, let's say, a tool, the kind of slack on parenting, but it's going to give them more work to do. Cause I feel like it is. I feel like it is. A lot of what has been done. <laughs> in his way of parenting. trying to reassure us, <laughs> he just shook me a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm even more shook now, but I hear what you say, because growing up, yeah. we watched things that had those same subliminal messages mm. that were scary. Mm. And somehow, we turned out great. We turned out fine. Did yeah, no, but yeah, yeah, like, like look at cow and chicken. Mm -hmm. Mommy had a cow. Yeah. Mommy had a chicken. Dad was proud. He didn't care how. Like, <laughs> like it's in the song. You guys, don't take away my innocence. You think you, do you see what I mean? Oh, that was my innocence, <laughs> and I believed so it. I don't want it ruined. Let's move swiftly. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Yeah. What are some, um, when it comes to engaging in more adult um, online things, mm -hmm. how do we deal with that? Because you see, for example, yes, your children are going to see dress code online. Mm -hmm. When it comes to real life, mm -hmm. 
Do we let them play that out? You see, the children will see internet things, like songs on, on mm. the internet or, you know, stuff like that. I feel like even grown-ups are playing it out right now. Mm. I mean, have, have you watched Bridgerton? Mm. Believe me, I watched the entire Bridgerton and I began talking like this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you're an adult. I feel like you have self-control to how far it can go. Yes, of course. It should we control what the children do? I think we should. Have you? There's another thing that was really like a very controversial con uh, conversation. Cuties. Mm. It came out on Netflix. Oh, God. I remember that. Yeah. All right. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me. So they were over-sexualizing so those children. Oh, my hey, goodness. Hey, you, you guys really need to go and watch Quiet on set. Something. I've, I've, I've heard about it. I've about it? The kids of... There's is it a, Nicolodia? There's a, there's a lady who has a, a, a hat tattoo here mm. on her face right now. Mm. Yeah. I forget who she is or not. Jojo? Is that Jojo? No, no she was... She was, forget Aikali and all these other guys. It was, it, I'll just share, share the link on your group, you guys will see. Mm. The whole point is the industry, the content creators, the people designing these platforms and everything else, it's, these are privately owned businesses. Yeah. Meaning they have to make money. Yeah. They will do everything in their power to make money. And child content has a lot of money. Yeah. So basically we are all agreeing, supervise them like a problem. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so much for catching the YouTube version of No Filter. Remember that the show itself is on NBS TV, your number one TV station, every single Saturday at 8 p.m. We'll catch you then.